I think since he's doing a blue start, the perfect counter to a blue start is actually Raptor start. So we'll do a Raptor start here. You, I expected him to do a red or a Raptor start. Most Nocturnes do. The reason why Raptor start is so good is because I'm going to meet him top to hide. I'll be able to double crab him into a perfect Raptor stun at four minutes. Because we're going to be pathing down to get both crabs. So you get top crab, cross through mid, get the bot crab, go into four minute Raptors. And uh, he's going to be stuck farming very slow behind me. And we should have no issues at all beating him there. Teemo's going to kill the enemy jungler here. Let's see if he gets it. Blazing Phoenix. Vigilant guard. Stalwart protector. Nice. He got the Nocturne Flash there. That's huge. I do not need to use my Smite, which is great. So we're going to hold on to Smite. Crazy how fast you can clear on new deer. So you see how Raptor start, you're, you get put out in front of the top crab. We kill this, and then we cross through mid and go get the bot crab. It's the perfect counter once again to uh, blue side start. Right. Oh, this start is OP as hell against blue starts. Let's see how Raptors are perfectly up. There's no wasted time with farming with this start against uh, blue camps. Or blue starts, rather. I am going to go back here. Summer's flame. Bodies of stone, parts of glass. The camp will still reset if you leave one little raptor alive. I just didn't want to stagger it too bad there. To walk with the spirits, I must know my limits. Great. Having a lot of fun with Tiger and Udyr today. A lot of people have been asking for split push Udyr builds. So that is uh, what we will be primarily playing today. I call the chaos of thought. Prowling Tiger. He's crossing through the top side. An ally has been slain. Sucks that top just died there, or bot just died. Nocturne cannot be level 6 right now, so we don't need to worry about a Nocturne ult top or anything like that. Keep in mind I've got Overgrowth, so I'm very incentivized to keep all of these alive for another round of these little Krugs. Didn't quite get it. It would have taken too long. I'm too fast. Great. Right. Man, we are in such a good spot from a tempo standpoint here. Okay, I don't think I can make it down there in time, so we'll just keep farming. There's the dragon. I was wondering what Nocturne was going for. 
Um, we haven't seen him for a little bit. Nocturne's level 6 right now. We haven't seen him in a while, though. I'm just going to keep eating the full clear. I see no reason to go back yet. I know he wants a gank, but frankly, I got to keep farming, brother. We got so much tempo that I do not want to go back until I get full item here. What do you mean by counters blue start? I will explain it in depth after this game. It's kind of a long answer. Mid. Has been slain. We look up. Shattered storm can be reduced. Blazing Phoenix. An enemy has been slain. Nice, good job, uh, Timo. Got the red buff too. That's so obnoxious for him. And we get his flash. Oh, that's just nightmare fuel for him. Literally, Nocturne, get it, nightmare. Haha. -ha. Pop the potion. Just use Awaken W -er. Yes. All right, it's time for me to go back and get... Um, time for me to go back and get items. So I'm going to start bot side and full clear up, I think. I'm going to let him get the turret plates. All right, we're going to go straight here and then clear up. The problem is that many streamers and players in general falsely report in games where people... Yeah, that is true. There just needs to be a better overall system to detect, report it, the whole nine yards. We just need a better system, you know. Nice, we just got our overgrowth to finally pop. We've got six grubs on Tiger Udyr. Let's have fun here. Q, Q, lightning Q, lightning Q, bam, bam. And now with six grubs, we just go for the entire turret here. That guy had a chain vest too is the crazy part. Stability and strength. Alright, this is where demolish and rift grubs and all that juicy split push damage comes into all kicks in all at once. Immovable turtle. Autumn's wind. Wow, dude. There goes the turret. Really, really good. I don't think we can get second dragon, so I'm going to choose to just full clear here. We 
Great summon strike. Prowling tiger. Winter An enemy flow. has been slain. Nice job, bot lane. Stability and strength. Blazing Phoenix. Nocturne gets the dragon. I've got 600 gold in my jungle, like I said. I'm choosing to farm over um, anything variants. 600 gold's a lot of gold. Springs grow. We need no help. We are eternal. Mother Bear and I will shelter this world. What's ours? Lost both the first dragons, but I'm happy going for Rift Grubs, especially with Overgrowth. Uh, Rift Grubs are really important. Summer's flame. We've already gotten 140 bonus health from Rift Grubs at 13 minutes. That's like 400 gold almost. Wow, dude. I am extremely strong. I am a level 11 Udyr. Versus a bunch of level uh, eights out here. Wish we had a bot lane, dude. Pretty good. Got a lot of cooldowns for our team. That is actually still a really good gank there, even though we get didn't get a kill. I am sitting on quite a bit of gold, so there is that. I wonder both worlds. Look at this. Amazing, amazing build, man. Stability and strength. Blazing Phoenix. Stride and hole breaker. Yup. Look at the health bar, sir. It's Tiger in your kingdom, baby. I bet. All right, so zero damage to champions. Watch after the Orn. All right, right there, it did a hundred bonus damage. Immovable turtle. We fight to protect our own. We're gonna take the entire base here. Orn is dead up until right now. <laughs> Y'all wanted split push you dear. Focus. Your team has destroyed a turret. There it is. Mother bear. We walk in the footsteps of faith. If you just can't bot now, we win the game. Couldn't get her? Where'd she go? She had two HP. Super close. Got her flash for sure there, though. Nocturne got my shutdown. Okay. Let's do... An enemy has been slain. Nice. My 
I'm not gonna wait for the ruby. I'm just gonna run straight here. Your team has destroyed a turret. Springs grow. Mother bear. God, I am so tanky with these two items. That's nuts how much health I have. Sweet. We look after what's ours. We gotta keep pressure up on uh on the enemy team. Inhib is a giant gamble to take early game. The reason why you take it, though, is it's keeping somebody tied up top lane. Yes, we're bleeding golden experience, but theoretically, they're always going to be fighting 4v4 fights. Those jinx rockets or snares. Immovable turtle. We need no help. Why are we holding the, uh... We're holding the Seraphine R until after the Udyr's already gone in, man. You like that moonwalk on the, on the way out there? That's what high health pool does for Tiger Udyr. Invest today in a Hullbreaker build near you. We look after what's ours. Watch this turret, dude. Immovable turtle. Your team has destroyed a turret. Stability and strength. Not bad. Teams hold power. Many spirits have trusted me with theirs. Autumn's wind. It feels really good. I don't know if it is a good build, but it feels like a good build. And overgrowth rewards the power farm playstyle so much. How much damage has this done? It's actually done 500 damage to champions, which is not bad. Like, that's give or take what Storm Surge does, you know? Other nice thing about Hole Breaker, if you don't know, is it gives movement speed. I don't actually have smite, guys. Minion waves right here. Winter flow. Autumn's wind. Awaken, tiger. Killing spree. Great. Your team has destroyed an inhibitor. Listen, keep breathing down their necks. Just keeping them here. Keep an eye on Jinx Rocket. It could actually kill me here. 
You see how much pressure we are just putting on the map? Like, they are having such a hard time getting anything done. They have a hard winning bot lane, too. And I said, nope. Incorrect. I will not let you carry this game, Jinx. Wouldn't mind putting a Blade of the Rune King on this build next. Overlord's Blood Mail would go nuts next item, though. Get everybody a quick little blue buff. I think defensive boots are King Kong, though. Demolish has done 2.6k bonus turret damage this game. Not bad. It's like a hole breaker. Hole breaker's done 4.2k. Look at these demolished box, dude. Oh my god, I actually love this build. This reminds me of old school like ZZ Rot portal days where you just say, you know what? We're actually just building split push items now, dude. Holebreaker did 7.4k of turret damage that game. A lot of damage as well in terms of... Because um, the damage comes through power farming and experience. Call me so I can make it just if I yeah.